Hello. I'd like to thank the Women for Fair Politics for inviting me to speak with you. I'm Carly Fiorina, and as you can see, obviously, by the backdrop, I'm a supporter of John McCain. And I'd like to talk with you a little bit about why I support John. But before I do that, perhaps I can tell you a little bit about myself. I started my career as a secretary, typing and filing and answering the phones, as all secretaries do. And ultimately, I became the chief executive officer of Hewlett Packard. So I do know something about what it's like to be a woman rising in a man's world. Since I left Hewlett Packard three years ago, I have spoken to literally tens of thousands of women all over this nation. I've written a book, a very personal book, about my experiences. And I've also been working with philanthropic organizations and have started a fund focused on empowering women in impoverished parts of the world. This is why perhaps I have such great admiration and empathy for Hillary Clinton. I have great admiration for her because I know what it takes in some small measure to do what she has done. She is obviously incredibly intelligent, focused, tough, determined, empathetic of all the tens of millions of people that she was trying to represent in her quest to become the first woman president of the United States. And as a woman, I take great pride in the fact that Hillary Clinton ran for president. And I also watched with a lot of empathy as I saw how she was scrutinized, characterized, talked about as a woman. While I think women have made great progress in so many ways, I also know from personal experience that women in positions of power, particularly bold women who are trying to drive change, as Hillary Clinton most surely is, bold women, women in power are characterized and scrutinized differently than their male counterparts are. Now, of course, all of us, all of us as Americans, and particularly all of us as women, have a very important choice. Women are, of course, hugely important in this election. We represent 52% of the voters. We start small businesses at twice the rate that men do. And small businesses create 75% of the jobs in this country. So women are a driving force, not just in politics, but women are a driving force in our economy. And how women choose in November will say much about the direction of our nation. I first met John McCain in 2000, and then he asked me to support him in 2007. And I did a lot of homework before making that choice. What I can tell you about John McCain is that he is an authentic leader. I can tell you that he treats everyone with respect. He seeks my advice and counsel on issues that are important to me and I think issues that are important to you. And he listens to that counsel and acts on that counsel. He is a man of tremendous character and conviction. And that character, that conviction, that strength, that courage, gives him the ability to be his own man. He has demonstrated that he is his own man, whether it was standing up against his party and President Bush on the protection of our environment or the war in Iraq. John McCain is a man who understands that we must have prosperity in America, that we must reform Washington, and that we must lead in creating the peace in Iraq and around the world. I very much hope that as I get to know hopefully many of you over the coming weeks and months, that I'll have a further opportunity to talk with you about John McCain. We've heard from so many of you here at the campaign. I hope that you'll continue to reach out to us. And please rest assured that we will continue to reach out to you. Not a single vote should be taken for granted. In particular, a woman's vote 
shouldn't be taken for granted. And I know that you, like me, care about the economy, care about our health care, care about the education of our children. And I hope your care about all of those issues will cause you to take a look at John McCain. Thanks so much, and I look forward to meeting many of you.